let's take the YouTube analytics and actually throw them into a useful spreadsheet over here so that we can filter, sort, arrange, find insights, see where we're getting subscribers, see where we're actually getting revenue from, so forth and so on. This is not very hard to do. It's pretty cool. Check it out. We're going to walk through it step by step from scratch. So let me just go back out here. Here is YouTube studio over here on the right. We can go to analytics and from here, we've got just a basic overview. Here's where my channel currently lives uh, in terms of stats and we can get a good little overview, very useful real time stats over here. If we want to pull up this real time deal, where our current views actually coming from, but what if we want to go a little bit more granular? Well, you can get to it a gazillion different ways. Ultimately, we just want to go to advanced mode though. And then this brings up the advanced mode where we've got a detailed graph. We can change what we're showing on this graph by subscribers, by content. We can add secondary metrics. We can do a lot of things here. But what we are going to do today, I want to look at revenue. I want to look at cost as well as revenue. So the uh, cost per uh, whatever this M stands for. I forget the fancy term mill, I believe CPM and RPM. So what are advertisers paying? That's the CPM. And then I want to add and look, I'm just adding a metric to the table right down here. Then I want to add RPM revenue per million or per mil. I think it's per thousand views is what that is uh, saying. So in order to really make some insights here, we can see this is how much an advertiser is paying YouTube, but I'm seeing 564 of that. So I got 1444 they're paying in. My cut is going to be 564 what I've actually received. Over here, we have other uh, metrics. We've got views, watch time, subscribers, estimated revenue. Those are good and fine. And there are a gazillion. So if you want to add more metrics to look at, you can add and delete uh, to your heart's content. We're going to leave it like this for right now. So I've got impressions and then click through rate. Also all these really click through rate, super important. Uh, I'm not great at this. Uh, mine are, are not always very high, still learning there. Subscribers. I want to see where I'm getting subscribers from. And like I said, the revenue CPM and RPM. Okay. This is also defaulting to the last 28 days. Let's actually do 2024. Let's just look at this year to date. So right there, my graph changes. It shows you real time data day by day. What happened on each day of the year so far, where these spikes are coming from. If you hover over here, you can see that purple spike came from Google Sheets. Use app script to generate uh, whatever that was. <laughs> And we can see this is showing RPM. So if I change it to CPM, that's a different graph. This is advertisers are paying more for whatever reason for ads on these videos. But if we go back to RPM, it doesn't necessarily equate. So this is April 29th. Um, this was that multiple selection drop down list. And you can see it's 1972 on April 29th. Let's go back over here and it looks like, yeah, so they were paying a whole bunch more and I got more than normal based on the year so far. But we don't want to just hover over things and scroll down here because YouTube hasn't made a great experience in this graph. This is good to look at. This is good to filter content by. This is good to search for things. You can search for playlists and stuff in here and pull them up uh, or filter by playlist. In fact, I can't do that from that screen right there, but I, you, you can do it elsewhere. My point is though, we really need to get this into a spreadsheet. So up here at the top, we can export as a CSV and pull it into Excel, or because this is a Google product, we're going to just open this in a Google sheet. And here we go. Now we've got all of our information for this year to date. And you can see uh, all the way down through 399 lines worth of videos. Okay, so let's just do a control A. And I'll show you the way we get that into a table. Format, convert to table. All right, and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this total line because, or that row rather, I, I don't want the total. I want just the videos. So each row is a video. And now we're going to do some analysis. I'm going to just uh, reduce the size of that so I get more 
more rows or more columns rather on the screen at once. Make these all the same side. Yeah, that's good. So now we can kind of see everything a little bit better. If we really need to know the title of the video, we can click into here, or actually we could just wrap the line so that uh, that wraps. All right, a couple more things. You could highlight the lines like this, which is what I'm going to do. Where's my, hey, where's my revenue? There it is, estimated revenue. So I'm gonna highlight all of those, and then I'm gonna actually going to change it to number, currency. Nope. Looks like you can't do that because we are in a table. So let's edit column type, number, currency. And I guess we have to do that on each one. I just want to show that these are the currency parts. All right. Estimated revenue, last one. And we're done with those headers being edited. And now we've got some useful information that we can check out. However, it's not filtered or organized very well. So the first thing that I'm going to do, come over here to estimated revenue, and I'm going to filter this by condition greater than, I don't know, what do you think? Greater than a dollar. Let's just do that first to make me feel a little bit better about myself. So these are videos that have actually earned me more than a dollar. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, one other thing that we could do, we could filter this, or excuse me, we could sort this Z to A that shows the highest dollar amounts first all the way down to, I'm sure there's some that are just right at a dollar. So yeah, Google Sheets double X lookup, build a Vin Viganer cipher. That's not a super popular video in terms of revenue, <laughs> yeah, as well as a lot of these are. So uh, this has been a learning experience for me here on YouTube. And you can see that there are a lot of videos, though, that have made at least a dollar. And then furthermore, a lot that have made over $10, $20, and then all the way up here to the highest performing. And these are the, these are the ones that we're going to try to replicate what is working here. You know, so over 50 bucks, I consider these wins. These are successes. Uh, another thing we can look at is the, how does that relate to the CPM and RPM? So I've made 267 on this Amazon smart thermostat video. Good night. Not even part of my really theme for the channel, but I just can't unlist it because it keeps making me money. Uh, and you can see the CPM for that is 1541. I've made 885 RPM. Again, this is the revenue. This is what I actually get. This column right here, the revenue contributes to the actual earnings that I have made and generated off of these videos. And just going down here, we've got 15, 14, 11, 18. We can kind of see the highlight the ones that have higher than normal. So here's a higher than normal CPM for my channel. You know, it's up over $20. This is uh, one about this Toast POS system. Uh, 13, 15, 15, 19 here. These Toast videos seem to have a higher CPM. And they are actually performing pretty well for my channel. They've made 50 bucks here, 40 bucks there. Uh, but this is, this is how you can go in and really get a granular look at, okay, what's, what's working here? What's working for my channel? Let's go over to the uh, impression click through. So there's that click through rate and let's sort this Z day. And we can see we don't have great click through rates on some stuff, but here above, you know, above five is kind of a win for me. I think you want to get double digits here, preferably. We've got this Llama Llama tutorial, toast, data visualization, another toast, and then this key crime. This is one of my long standing videos that has just done well uh, for a long time now, a year and a half plus. And I do have a Google Sheets, how to use X lookup in multiple columns. That's got a good click through rate and so forth and so on. So this is this is how you can pull the data from your YouTube channel and you can add as many of these uh, uh, metrics down here that you want in order to compare and contrast and see what's working, what's not, so that you can actually do some good analysis on your videos. Uh, I'm just curious here. Let's look at, let's look at subscribers real quick. So let's sort this one Z day. So I'm getting all the subscribers. So all of these here, 
just want to kind of get rid of all those. Let's hide those rows. If you ever want to hide something, you can do that. All right, this is what I was looking for. So they are generating more revenue. The ones that I have gotten more subscribers, they have decent CPMs and okay RPMs. And the click-through rate is not great. So these are just getting a lot of views, I would imagine. Yeah, these are my most, some of my most viewed videos. And we can exclude this guy. You know, you may see some of these. These are shorts, so that doesn't really make a huge difference down there. Hope that's useful for you. Throw, throw these analytics definitely into either Excel or a Google Sheets spreadsheet. It will make it a lot easier to really get granular on your data and be able to make some insights on what you need to improve, what you need to stop doing, what you need to lean into on your own videos. Hope you have a great one and goodbye.